yes uh, the problem we are facing now just of the question it's uh, what is the amount of more amount of h2o molecules is present in 10 grams of water we're not sure what this question exactly mean by perhaps this could be the problem for most of the uh, most of the students uh, out there in chemistry and uh, most of the students even they have the same problem in uh, in the laboratory uh, the routine work so how to calculate this how to approach to the problem is most of the people don't know about how to do this so what is the amount of h2 molecules is present in 10 grams of water it's it looks so crazy that what is h2 molecules and how it is present in 10 grams of water we, ne we always see the water calculated in liters in calculated in liters and how it could be in grams so what if all in grams and how it is present in uh, h2 molecules Mo molecules is water is something like uh, a droplet or you know it can be a how, how it can be m amount of h2 molecules it's still very confusing that h2 molecules in an amount and present in a grams uh, uh, weird and crazy grams units so how it is present there so so i would like to depict some analogy we, uh, with the reference to this uh, this analogy uh, it's 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 just work to develop to understand this concept okay so we all know that the empirical formula or the uh, the uh, the you know the water empirical formula of water is h2o it's given directly there h2o so this h2o the h2o uh, molecules uh, uh, present in this much of grams of water this much of weight or this much of mass of water so how many molecules are present wait wait I don't understand anything of either okay let's go to the analogy that we are trying to do here okay so in the same analogy a question can be developed okay suppose uh, let us consider a stage or an auditorium this is a stage uh, let's say it's a function is going on there and this is the auditorium this is a stage where people can uh, stand and perform they sing dance and something like that okay and let's say there are two different age group of people and uh, one group is, uh, is, a, is it's about child children children out there and one group okay and one group is an adult then the group is an adult a d u l t if I'm right okay adult <coughs> so children out there and adult out there so they make they make to the uh, they give to the total uh, mass of total weight of thousand kg on the stage perhaps they are trying they're trying to uh, find out the total uh, weight of the uh, stage that can hold that can withstand let's say a thousand kg uh, of uh, the human weight is over there in the stage okay uh, that uh, that is uh, made by children and adults so we obviously know when children it comes to a little uh, comparatively a little uh, low uh, kilogram than uh, than the uh, <coughs> low mass than the adult so let's say assume that a 25 i mean a uh, mass of per children is an average of 25 kilogram and uh, the total mass of an adult could be around uh, <coughs> 60 kilogram the average I'm not uh, sorry for the total mass it's not total mass it's average mass per adult so average mass of adult 60 and uh, the children of 25 that can make uh, we, we are not sure how many people out there uh, to just have this to just have this much of uh, to make this much of kilograms this much of total mass we're not sure about it so so all we have the information is uh, children weight uh, ch ch the children weight I mean a child weight is about 25 kg uh, in a total in, in an average and, and an adult having a uh, 60 kg in an average so this good this makes the total of thousand kilograms we're not sure how many people out there to make this much of kilogram not sure about so at the same time we can assume here so amount of h2o molecules present in 10 grams of water so the same question can be analyzed so how are you going to find it let's say 1000 kg is divided by so 25 uh, plus 60 so here is an, another clue is given actually uh, so so you can just find it it's h2o molecules that is 
that is uh, so so sorry we need to talk about a little before that we go to h2o what is h2o we need to find actually we uh, how did we find the children weight is 25 kg uh, we must have a weighing machine or uh, any other uh, you know we can just see the children and find uh, they could be uh, approximately having an average mass like this but, but weighing machine would help us the same way that each molecule each atoms have a specific mass or specific atomic weight so this atomic weight is determined pre i mean it, it uh, it's there in the periodic table you can find it everywhere in the periodic table so here here we go we have a periodic table so h2o molecule for h uh, has uh, hydrogen hydrogen molecule uh, hydrogen atomic mass that is atomic mass is just one proton out there one proton and a neutron sorry uh, uh, sorry and uh, an electron this makes a molecular weight of one, almost one. So, so 1.00794. Okay, that is approximately one. Okay, and uh, <coughs> another one, and oxygen. Where is oxygen? Oxygen is out here. It makes around 15.994. So let us take 16 oxygen. Let's take 16 okay so so we can uh, actually why it is 16 it is uh, why we can oxy we can call oxygen as nodules because of this mass number because of the mass because of the weight it holds it's 16 and why we say that uh, hydrogen, is ch hydrogen is a child because of the mass it's just one okay so so far C is we can consider in this way so 25 is a children by its weight and 60 is an adult by its weight so 25 so so two molecules of H that is two that is two children 25 plus 25 it's a combination if, if it is two children and one adult it's a family like a father mother like like a two children and one adult okay that's 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 makes one combo it's, it's a combo so how many combos are there okay so 25 plus 25 50 50 plus 60 110 so 1000 divided by 110 so where is my calculator so calculator so calculator okay here we go with calculator so 1000 divided by 110 is equal to 9.09 .09. excuse me the answer 9.09 .09. so there is I have uh, around uh, let us consider this 9 actually so there are 9 combos 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there are 9 combos each combos have 2 uh, children and 1 adult 2 children and 1 adult 2 children and 1 adult so in this case so 2 children 4 for 2 plus 2 4 6 so in that if it goes it has 18 18 children 18 children and uh, nine adults nine adults so it has 18 children nine adults this this combo it's known as moles moles of h2o this compound is the moles of H2O. Can we just, in, in analogical terms, the moles of H2O? So let's find uh, how we just do about it. So let's say 10 grams, 10 grams of uh, the, the, the grams of water. The 10 grams of water that is, uh, that is H2O made at uh, 10 grams of total mass. Okay, and then we have. Uh, let's say two hydrogen atoms there two hydrogen atoms that is one plus one two one plus one it's two so two plus and uh, 16 here that's one uh, one oxygen molecule that is 16 so two plus one so 16 so it, it is approximately 18 so 10 grams divided by 18 that gives us the moles let's see how much it is so 10 grams uh, again I need my calculator so calculator again okay 10 grams divided by 18 that gives me 0 0.55 moles 
zero point five five moles. Yes, so that is zero. Uh, actually, zero point five five moles is as same as the combo of you know uh, nine combo nine combo nine combo of uh, two children and one adult and one adult that makes the nine combo the nine combo makes the thousand kg so the same way 0 0.55 mole it's been uh, uh, 0 0.55 mo one mole is six as we know 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 or 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 uh, molecular entities so uh, no, roughly half a number of this of the molecular entity is seen in 10 grams of water so so it is as uh, comparable to the analogy what we have planned here hope you understand this thank you